Okay, next up we have Temple head coach Tanya Cardoza. Is uh, Coach on with us? Yes, yes, she is. Hi, Coach. How are you? Good, and yourself? Good, thanks. Thanks for being patient. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I want to just uh, start with an opening statement about your team and what you've seen this season and uh, kind of your expectations for this season. Um, well, we've been practicing now for a week and a half, and I have to say that I have been very pleased with um, their performance. They worked really hard in the, in the preseason to get themselves in this position. Um, we have a very competitive schedule with at least four or five top 25 teams, so we know we have our work cut out for us. So right now we're, we're doing everything that we're supposed to be doing. We're excited about the future. Okay, thanks. We'll go ahead and open it up to uh, members of the media. Please press star 1 to ask a question. And our first question is from Mel Greenberg from Freelance. Hi, Tanya. How you doing? Hey, Mel. How are you? All right, Grant, what did I notice at the Big Five Clinic a couple of weeks ago? It was, it was my imagination. Are you uh, sort of like a whole lot taller than you've been in the, since you've gotten there in terms of height on your team? Um, I, th I think we definitely have some height. We don't have a lot of girth, but we have some height. Um, I, I, yeah, I, we have a lot of a lot of post players now that we probably didn't have uh, my first my first year. So we definitely have some size on us. And there, I guess, you know, for the last several years, the uh, – Bigger because the of the teams that we were standing beside. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> you know, the last couple of years in the preseason uh, conference poll, uh, uh, you guys were sort of underpicked maybe, and, uh, you know, it was great motivation. But uh, a number three, I mean, you could argue either two, three, is kind of your the neighborhood where you'd want to be. So uh, do you got to look for other ways to motivate within the league this year? Oh, definitely. Like that was one of the good things when you know no one really knew what to expect from us. So I, I thought that the rankings in the in the previous years were fair, um, but it was something that we could use to motivate our players to you know go out there and and show people that we were a lot better. So it's just a, a little bit of respect now. I look at it that way. Um, you know, we've proven that you know with the players that we've had, we've been able to do something. So I think it's just a little bit of respect, and now we have to live up to that and hopefully you know be better than even a third. Speaking of uh, a little bit of respect, uh, I noticed a couple magazines are actually getting some preseason rankings, and uh, although I guess I guess your season opener will be as good a game if you want to prove who you are playing Ohio State at home. Uh, definitely. I, I think looking back now, I, um, I don't know if I'm excited about that, knowing that they're returning all five five starters. But um, it'll definitely be a test for us. Um, you know, preseason rankings, all that is is someone out there, you know, respects your program and what you guys are doing. Um, obviously, that doesn't really mean much. What matters is how you finish in the end. But um, we'll take it all in stride. Okay, no more questions. Our next question comes from Shane White from 1660 Information Radio. Good morning, Coach. Hi, Shane. Uh, you've got some uh, really unique situation, it looks like, uh, for this year because you have some players who weren't able to play last year due to transferring in or injury, so they've been part of the team, they've been around the team, and then you also have um, four newcomers coming in as well. So how has it been trying to uh, create that, that chemistry that works so well for you on the court uh, in these early season practices? Actually, it's been really good because of the transfers. They were able to practice with us last year, so it made the transition this year a lot easier where it was only three new guys that didn't really know what was going on, so they've been able to take the other guys under their wing. Um, but being able to get transfers and having them sit out a year is, is always good because they get to actually, you know, learn the system before it actually gets started. So um, it's definitely a new look. We have six new faces um, and pretty excited about what their capabilities are. And talking about your opening game with Ohio State um, and then the rest of your non-conference schedule, are there any goals that you're looking for coming out of your non-conference that you say we want to be at this level when we hit A-10 play? Uh, I mean, one of the reasons why we schedule the way we do is try to prepare us for the A-10s and try to, you know, face a lot of different opponents. Um, so that way when we do get in the conference play, we there's nothing that we haven't seen. Um, we definitely have a lot of, you know, teams that played in postseason, um, so it will give us some experience getting um, to that point. 
but we're just trying to go out and improve every day and practice and hopefully have it carry over into the game. Excellent. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. And I have no further questions at this time. Coach, I have a quick question for you. Um, talk about Kristen McCarthy. Uh, she really stepped up last year as a sophomore. What do you expect from her this season, both on and off the court? Um, I mean, I, I definitely expect the same, if not more. But the one thing I think she'll have is she won't feel like she has to carry the team on her shoulders as much as she did last year. Towards the end of the season, I think she felt like she had to do a lot. And um, hopefully with some with Shaquita Wallace stepping up and some of the other guys, they'll take some of the scoring off of her. Um, but I'm expecting her to, to improve in everything that, you know, that she needed to improve on and have a, a great year. I think she's going to have a great uh, career here at Temple. Okay. Any further questions for Coach? I have no further questions at this time. Thank you.